everybody, it's Robbie from Southern California on a very sunny, warm day today. I want to show you real quick on my solar fountain, one of my pumps that really seemed like it was as dead as could be. No matter what, I tried to flush it, clean it, but there are ways to clean it where you can bring it back to life, so do not throw them away. Most people would take them and throw them away. I'm going to show you here exactly what I did and then we'll come back and I'll explain a little bit more. Now these get a lot of hard water on them. You can use a screwdriver or whatever. See the hard water? This is not working at all. So it, it gets inside too. So what I do is I pop it off. See, it's all hard water. This all has to be washed off, and it gets on the magnet, too. I'll show you something. Something I found out. A lot of people throw them away. Don't throw them away. There's really nothing to break on this. You open it up. Look at this. There's stuff in here. Now, there's multiple things you can do. You can pull out the whole unit, and you can see this is all caked up and hard. You can clean this off with a paper napkin and if it still is not working I've taken an emery board and scrape it sandpaper whatever you've got clean it off really good because if it gets hard water on here it won't work it'll just stop working this is like the most simplest machine motor you can find that it's almost, I, I really have not had any, any of them break. I thought they were broke, but after coming through, cleaning it off, I'm gonna go see if I can get this thing turned on. And those are hummingbirds. That's all you have to do, clean it really good, and if you have to, do it a couple times. Make sure this is all clean in here. I didn't bring a paper napkin. Let me grab a napkin. Clean it out really good because all that stuff gets caked up in there and it's like I said it's so easy, easy to clean these things. If you have to you can get in there with a q-tip and clean it out. I don't see anything. I don't have a q-tip on me right now. You could get in there with a q-tip make sure it's nice and clean. And what I also do is make sure you know get, get the hard water off that's in the way. This stuff isn't in the way. But this thing, you want to make sure this is clean too. It's all hard water. You can rinse it in the sink. I'm sitting here on the deck with 50 hummingbirds flying around my head. They think I've got something. They always think I have something. Oh, she's out here. Oh, what is she doing? That's what I should do. Get them a fountain. One of those dessert fountains and fill it up. No, I wouldn't do that. It would be cute, but I wouldn't do that. Okay, that's it. Now, it seems fairly smooth. You want to make sure it's nice and smooth. It, it's a magnet. It will pop right back in. It's a magnet. It pops in. There's nothing to do but just pop it back in. Then you fit this back on and clean this off if you want. And put it, like I said, take it to the sink, wash it. It gets... It gets um, algae in there. It gets, you know, sand or dirt. Just whatever. You know, hair, dog hair can get in there. Dog hair is so super fine. You wouldn't even know there's dog hair in there. And, that, and then that can cause it to get corrupt a little bit. And then there's a little hole there. And there's a little hole there. It fits in. Pushes right on. And this goes on this way. Should work. I'm going to go take it over to the solar panel and check that. But this is how you clean the pump off. I don't need to clean. This isn't doing anything. This is just dirty. But that's it. Let's go test this and see if it works. I'm going to plug it back in. I'll know if it works, but I'll be able to feel it and see if it works because it wasn't doing anything. It was nothing. Oh yeah. I can put it right up to the camera. Feel that? It is full power now. 
and all it needed was a really good cleaning. So don't forget, if you think you took it apart and it's clean, sometimes it's hard water, get a little sandpaper and just clean that magnet off really good until you get everything off and then put it back together and this thing is really buzzing away. So that's all there was to it. There's basically nothing in these. It's a magnet that spins from the solar panels that are up here. I've got some solar panels here. And they're interchangeable, a lot of them, so you can test it on different ones just in case. I haven't had a pump break. They have their issues sometimes. Sometimes I just have to flush them. You could even use a squirt water bottle and flush it in there and get everything backed up through the opening there. Sometimes that works, you know, like a ketchup bottle, that an empty one, of course. You can put it in the hole and flush everything backwards. I've done it that way. So I flushed it down the tube that's connected to it, get done it, did it that way. I've taken them apart and cleaned them. But sometimes the magnet gets hard water on it. Just simply hard water. We, I have very hard water here. And if you sand that off and put it back together, it works perfect. They rarely break. I've got some of them that are, I'm gonna say over three years old now. I take them apart and do it that way. I have in the past taken one or two of those and put them aside thinking, oh, they're gone. But you know what? They weren't gone. When I found out it was a hard water buildup, I thought about it. You know, I thought, why are they rough inside and they've got all this hard water? So I took it apart one day, sanded it with some sandpaper and an emery board, like a nail file, put it back together and it worked perfect. So I figured out it was just the hard water building up on the magnet. So do it to yours if you have any issues. And this way you can have pumps going for many, many years. These little tiny machines are wonderful. So I hope I've given you an idea on how to fix them when you are in a little rut of what do I do now? I've tried everything. You snap them apart, check it out first, see if there's anything stuck in there. And if there isn't, Take the little magnet out, it pops right back in, so easy to do it. Clean it off really good with a little sandpaper, an emery board, file, a little nail file, anything, and then put it back together, and the odds are it's gonna work. With that, have a great day, and don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye! Isn't this fun? This is so fun! I've got them everywhere all over the yard. I keep buying them, and I keep putting more and more fountains out. And when they're running, you don't have to clean them that often. I look at them, they look dirty, I dump them and just refill them up.